Welcome back to another DaVinci Resolve video editing tutorial. In this video, we're going to do a repeat of lots of things that we've learned throughout this uh, tutorial series. We're going to be creating a picture slideshow with some pictures. So I'll just drag a few in here into the media clip pool. We're going to be uh, just doing a slideshow with some still pictures and adding different transition and effects to them and then um, exporting the final video and we'll add some an audio track to it as well. So if that so sounds like something that you already know how to do, feel free to skip this video. But I'm just going to left click and drag and drop a few of these pictures in here. I'm going to adjust the timeline by clicking here and we'll just uh, add a couple of these in and then we'll apply some transitions. So by default, this is adding, this is bringing them in. I can see if I hit play, I can kind of see that's quite long. It's playing for about five seconds. So every clip is going to play for five seconds. So we've kind of done in the past, we can come to the end of a, of a clip and we can left click and we can shorten it down. So we could just like shorten all of these that way and then drag it in. Or we could come and we can grab our blade tool or our razor tool. What, blade? It's called blade, isn't it? We grab the blade and we could actually just cut the, the one and then delete the other part. So there's a couple different ways we can do that. But there's another way we can do it too. We can just select all of these and then we can right click and we can go to uh, change clip duration. And so here we just type in in seconds how long we want it to be. So maybe if we want it to be two seconds, we just hit two and hit change. It uses a base point where they all start and it changes the duration that way and adjusts it. But now they're all exactly two seconds long. So we can left click and drag and bring these in. I have um, snapping enabled so they'll just stick right to where I put them. I can zoom in a little bit here. So just remember, changing the timeline, zooming in and out, doesn't change the the length at all or the time that the picture is displayed. It just it's just how we can view it. Um, so these are all two seconds long right now. So we can play and see. Right now we have a pretty basic slideshow. It just plays a picture, then it changes to the next picture. These are widescreen. So my project is 1920 by 1080, but these are widescreen. Um, pictures. So there's a black bar at the top and the bottom. If we wanted to, we could click on a clip and go up into Inspector. And then we can go to Transform. We can actually zoom this in until those bars disappear. And so we could do that. And actually, if I hit Control-Z, we can do the same thing. We can select all of them. And then we can zoom all of them in that much. Now if I click on each one, we see they're all, if we move the playhead, we can see that they're all zoomed in. There's no more black bars on any of these. And so again, that selecting all those at once is a good way to do that. If we only want to do a few, we can actually hold down the Shift key. and or Well, Shift will do actually all of them in between. We can hold down the Control key and just select certain ones. So now I have the first, the middle, and the last one selected. So I could adjust just those ones, like apply a rotation to those ones. And now all those ones are rotated, but the other ones in between are not. I'm going to do Control Z to undo that. That just shows like, I just want to show you selecting on that. And before we get into applying transitions, we've done this in the past too, but if you hover over a clip, it, these kind of handles appear in the top right and top left. If you adjust this handle, it's actually a fade uh, in and out. So this will have a fade out now. It'll just fade out to black. And so if we adjust this one, it'll fade in. Now we've created an effective sort of fade transition. Fade out and then fade the next one in. And we can adjust the length of that by how long we make that go. If we want it to be longer and slower, it'll fade out and fade in. So that's a way you could do a transition without even necessarily applying a transition effect to it. Let's come over here and click on Effects Library. And that'll bring up our effects. If I want to view them more, I'll get rid of the media pool. Now I can see just all these effects here. And it might be minimized for you, I don't know. But you can click on Expand This Toolbox and go to Video Transitions. So this will show us some of the ones. I think someone was asking in the comments, maybe they were asking about uh, doing a, a, a fade like this, fade to black, but or they might have been asking about doing like a cross dissolve, this cross dissolve effect. If we hover over and put it right in between two clips, and then we hit play, it'll show us it kind of fades from one to the other without fading to black, it just dissolves into the other one. It's kind of a cool effect. We can put it over top of two of them and see. So it'll just kind of fade or dissolve into the other picture. That's kind of nice. And if we want to adjust, if we want to make changes 
to these, we can actually click on the transition, uh, tr transition and we can go to uh, Inspector again. And it tells us information about the transition. So it says how long it's happening. So this is happening for one second is how long it takes to transition from this one over to this one. But we could make that shorter. Then it would be a much faster transition, just very quick, 0.2 seconds. Or we can make it longer. So this will take almost two seconds. So it'll just be a little bit slower and longer for that transition. Um, if I hit reset up here, it resets it back to how it was. Um, we can also change the actual transition. So the video transition style, we can change it from cross dissolve to like this, uh, like a star. Then it won't be a dissolve at all. It'll actually change the transition as if we were, as if we did a different one from over here. Um, so just be aware of that, that you can change the what's happening with the transition over here in the inspector section. Let's drag in, so let's do, we'll do a, I guess we'll just keep a star for that one, we'll do a dis, uh, dissolve for that one. We've got this um, push which is kind of cool, we'll add a push to here, and what else can we do? Let's do something, um, I guess let's do this eye iris over here. So now we have a couple different transitions. We can see what it looks like. And maybe let's maybe this one here, or maybe let's do a, maybe this last one here. Let's we can also apply a, a video effect to it. So if we click on this open effects, we can actually apply um, some sort of an effect. We can do like this glow is kind of a cool one. If we drag and drop the glow on here, it adds a glow. It's subtle, but you can kind of see and if we co co click over here into open effects in the inspector panel, we can actually change that and make it a little bit more dramatic. So if we bring this the threshold down a little bit, just play with some of these options, we can see um, it actually is creating quite a quite a different look. We can disable the effect by clicking this button here. So with it enabled, we see it's much more kind of like glowing and soft. And without it, it's sort of uh, you know, still nice, but. So we can apply effects too, and maybe you want to do that to kind of spice up some of your pictures. All right, so we've removed the bars. These, if you remember, we, if we click on a, a video, we can actually see this clip is actually zoomed in 1.5. So we've zoomed in on these. We applied some transitions. We did a, a an effect on one of them. Now we just need to add in some audio. So I have some audio here. I'm just going to bring it into oops the media pool. So I'll click on my media pool again, drag this audio in just like I did the pictures. And now I have this audio file and I'll drag it down to the audio track one and bring it back to the beginning. And then if I were to render this out right now, it would render the slideshow. We're gonna go ahead and render this. It would do the slideshow, but it would also, after it was done, it would just play black until the end of the audio is done, the end of the music. So I'm gonna to wanna to cut this music to end right with the video. And so I can just grab the uh, blade tool, and go right to the end there, and just click. And then we'll select and hit the delete key and delete that. So now the video and the audio end at the same time. And we can play back and just look and see what this looks like. Cool. Um, so let's render this out. We haven't done a whole lot of rendering in this tutorial. So we click over here to the deliver tab if we're ready. Oh, actually, I'll show you one thing. So I have this opened up, this mixer. So if we want to adjust the audio at all, um, just roughly, we can change it. So we look over here and it's kind of maxing out. So you see that's like peeking out in the red. So I want to turn that, I want to lower this down. So this is audio track one, which we only have one track. And this is the, the main uh, master channel. So I'm going to come back to the beginning and lower that down. So we don't see any of that red. Maybe that's good. Maybe right there is pretty good. Because red means it's like um, it's peaking and clipping out some of that audio. So this is pretty good right here. We're not getting too loud. It's not going to sound too distorted. Um, perfect. We could change some audio settings too if we want to like, you know, apply an equalizer and kind of change some of the way this audio, um, what's happening with it. We could do that too. I guess we will. Just for fun. Now that's, now we got to readjust this. Whoa. Okay, so now I'm going to click on this uh, delivery tab or deliver tab 
and we can, uh, from within here, we can still go back and play it and see what it's going to look like, our final thing. But uh, over here in the top left is where we'll configure the settings for rendering. And I made it, maybe I rushed over this a little bit in past videos, but if we click File and go to Save Project, that just kind of saves our project, and we can call it whatever we want, Slideshow, and hit Save. But people may be, if you haven't done a lot with video editing, you might confuse that with actually saving the video. That just saves a, a DaVinci Resolve project file, and if you open it, it opens in DaVinci Resolve and lets you make changes to it. But it's not actually a video you can upload to like YouTube or share it with your friends or put on Facebook or something. So if, to share the video, we have to render it out. So that's the, that's this tab that we're on now. This deliver tab lets us control the settings uh, to render this out. So first we choose a name. So we'll call it well, okay. We'll call it slideshow. And then we choose a place on our computer we want to save it to. So we'll just save this maybe to the desktop. We'll call it slideshow on desktop. Hit save. So it's saying where it's going to get saved at, it's saying the name of the file, and then we want to render, we can either choose to render single clips or individual clips, we want to do single clips so it's all one big video, but sometimes if, you, if we did individual it would render out each one of these separately with the audio behind it, but that's not very useful in our situation. Under format, you could leave it the same at QuickTime, I'm going to change mine to MP4. Um, MP4 is a good one if you're uploading it to social media or YouTube or anything. And then keep everything else here the same as, as what it is. You could change it, but it's best to change these when you first start in your project settings. So you go to File, Project Settings. That's where you want to change that if you want it to be something other than 24 frames per second or a resolution of 1920 by 1080. But again, these when you first bring a clip in, you can change your... Uh, you can choose to change your project settings to match the video clips or images that you're working with. Um, everything else we'll just leave the same. So we'll click Add to Render Queue. And we're still not done yet because now it pops up over here in the, in the right um, and we can click Start Render. That'll run through really quick and render this video. And now it's done. It says completed. Took three seconds to render on my computer with this it's just a short uh, slideshow. And now we can go to the desktop on my computer and we can actually play this slideshow and see what it looks like. And that's it. So that is creating a picture slideshow with music with DaVinci Resolve. Um, I will say if you're... Resolve is maybe not the best one. It's a little bit more advanced than you would probably need. I would say check out um, something like Shotcut or Caden Live also if all you want to do is picture slideshow. Um, but yeah, hopefully you found this video informative. Go ahead and leave your comments, questions below, and look forward to seeing you in the next video.